as we do in all cases. We take these kinds of allegations very seriously. We conducted a thorough, a thorough and professional investigation, and the person who was accused was punished. We investigated claims of sexual harassment and derogatory comments. We interviewed all current employees that had relevant information. Uh, we were able to substantiate derogatory comments and uh, did not able to substantiate the sexual harassment. The sexual harassment claims did not rise to the level of sexual harassment. Why not former employees, though, who could have had valuable information and in the end did? The allegations were claims of sexual harassment that were recent, and we were able to talk to current employees to see if they had um, witnessed those allegations. We had already in the investigation corroborated um, uh, statements, um, inappropriate statements. I told this employee at the time that she was loved, that we loved her. Um, I deeply valued her, uh, which is why we took her allegations immediately, investigated them immediately, uh, and, and did a professional and thorough investigation. It was taken very seriously from the very beginning. I have complete confidence in Jess Vassar. We ran a thorough professional organization in collaboration and in consultation with Employment Council. Uh, and so I know that that investigation was done thoroughly and appropriately. And this individual has been punished. Um, at the time, he was punished severely. He was denied a promotion. He was denied pay. His uh, desk was removed, and he was unable to have unsupervised contact with this individual. Um, and now that additional allegations have been investigated by our office, uh, by my new chief of staff who worked for the EEOC under President Obama, he was fired.